here uh, we have a sad math problem okay let's go over the question if uh, absolute value of one negative x greater than four and x is positive what is one possible value of x so we have to solve this absolute value inequality okay let me rewrite this absolute value inequality so absolute value of one negative x greater than four okay so whenever uh, i i want to solve absolute value inequality I have to take the expression inside the absolute value as it is, and it has to be written in two branches. Okay, let me divide the given uh, inequality into two branches. In both the branches, I have to take the expression inside the absolute value as it is, without absolute value. So one negative x, one negative x. Okay, in the first branch, I have to take this inequality sign and the value over here as it is, so greater than four. Okay, in the second branch, I have to flip this inequality sign. When I flip it over, it will become less than. Already it is greater than. When I, when it is flip it over, so it will become uh, less than. And we have to take, uh, I mean, we have to change the sign of this number. Already it's positive four and it will become negative four. Okay, now uh, I have to solve these two inequalities for x. So for that, I have to isolate x. So I subtract one from both sides. So one, negative one, I'll cancel out. I get negative x greater than three. And I have to do the same thing in the second inequality. I subtract one from both sides. So one and negative one will cancel out. I get negative x less than negative five. Okay, here, uh, what I need to do is uh, I have to solve for x, but here we have negative x. So I have to make this negative x as positive x in both inequalities. Okay, to make this negative x as positive x, I have to multiply uh, both sides by negative one or just simply negative sign. In an inequality, whenever I multiply both sides by a negative sign, I have to flip the inequality sign. So if I multiply negative sign on both sides, this negative x will become positive x. And we have to change the sign uh, over here. So it will become less than. And when I multiply this positive 3 by negative sign, it will become negative 3. Here in this inequality, if I multiply both sides by negative sign, it will become positive x. And this less than sign will become greater than. And this negative 5 will become positive 5. Okay, here you may have a question. When we multiply both sides of an inequality by negative sign, why do we uh, flip the inequality sign? So I'll tell you the reason over here. Okay, let's consider uh, an inequality 2 less than 5. So in this inequality, I'm going to multiply both sides by negative sign. Then this 2 will become negative 2 and this 5 will become negative 5. Okay, here in the original inequality, 2 is smaller and 5 is bigger so we write 2 less than 5 after uh, we multiplied both sides by negative sign we get negative 2 and negative 5 so now which one is smaller and which one is bigger clearly negative 2 is uh, greater than negative 5 so we have to flip the inequality sign so that's the reason so i uh, i said that we have to flip it over here i mean uh, we have to flip the inequality sign so whenever we multiply both sides of an inequality by negative sign Okay, now uh, we have x less than negative 3 as one solution. The other solution is uh, x greater than 5. Okay, let's uh, mark these two solutions on the number line. Let's take negative 3 over here and let's take 5 over here. Okay, so x cannot be equal to negative 3. It has to be less than negative 3. So let's take an empty circle. And since uh, x has to be less than negative 3, we have to consider only the values on the left side of negative 3. So that means negative 4, negative 5. So uh, according to the first solution, all the values uh, we have for x are negatives uh, are negative. But the condition we have in the question is x is positive. Okay, let's consider the second solution, which is x greater than five. Okay, greater than five means like uh, we have to consider all the values on the right side of five, and x cannot be equal to five because x greater than five. So again, we can take an empty circle. Since x is greater than five, we have to consider only the values on the right side of five, right side of five. So we can uh, put arrow mark over here. Okay, so on the right side of five, we have six, seven, eight, in this way it keeps going, but we just need one possible value of x and also it has to be positive. So we can take uh, six as a value for x or seven or eight. So since we need one possible value, we can write x is equal to six.